Intel processors from start till now. We are going to talk about x86 micro architectures. From start till now, we are going to start with 8086, the first x86 processor. Initially a temporary substitute for the IAPX432 to compete with Motorola Zilog and National Semiconductor and to top the successful 80. Then came the 186, it included a DMA controller, interrupt controller, timers and chipset logic. Then came 286, it was the first x86 processor with protected mode. i386, it was the first 32-bit x86 processor. Then i486, it was Intel's second generation of 32-bit x86 processors introduced built-in FPU that is floating point unit, 8 KB on chip L1 cache and also the pipelining. In P5, original Pentium processor, microprocessor, P6 which were used in Pentium Pro, Pentium 2, Pentium 2 Xeon, Pentium 3 and Pentium 3 Xeon microprocessor. In Pentium M, it was an updated version of Pentium 3 P6 microarchitecture designed from the ground up for mobile computing. Enhanced Pentium M, updated dual core version of the Pentium M microarchitecture is used in core microprocessors. Netburst, it was used in Pentium 4, Pentium D and some Xeon microprocessors commonly referred to as P7 although its internal name was not that it was P68, P7 was used for IT and AMM rather. Later revisions were the first to feature Intel's x86-64 architecture. Here it all started. Then Core re-engineered P6 based micro architecture used in Core 2 and Xeon microprocessors built on a 65 nanometer processor. Then Pendrim 45 nanometer shrink of the core micro architecture with large cache, high FSB means from serial bus and clock speeds and SSC 4.1 instructions. Nehalem was released in November 17, 2008 built on a 45 nanometer process and used in the core i7, core i5, core i3 microprocessors and incorporates the memory controller into the CPU DIE that is CPU die. Then come Westmere somewhat less than this 32 nm nanometer shrink of the Nihalem micro architecture with several new features. Then came Sandy Bridge. It was re-released in January 9, 2011. It was built on 32 nanometer process and used in the core i7, i5, i3 second generation microprocessors and in Pentium B9XX and Celeron 8 B8 XS series formerly called Jesher but it was renamed in 2007 as Sandy Bridge then came Ivy Bridge it was the 22 nanometer shrink of the Sandy Bridge micro architecture it was released in April 28 2012 Haswell New 22 nanometer micro architecture it was released in June 3, 2013. Then came Broadwell, 14 nanometer shrink of the Haswell micro architecture released in 2014. It was formerly called as Rockwell. Skylake, future Intel micro architecture based on 14 nanometer process. Then 10 nanometer shrink of the Skylake micro, micro architecture that is Canon Lake and it was formerly known as SkyMont. Larabee multi-core in order x86 64 updated version of P5 micro architecture with wide single instruction multiple data vector units and texture sampling hardware for using graphics. Cores derived from this micro architecture are called MIC that is many integrated core. Then Bonnell 45 nanometer low power in order micro architecture for using atom processors set and salt well that is 32 nanometer shrink of the Bonnell architecture Silomon 22 nanometer out of order micro architecture for using 
atom processors a mount 40 nanometer shrink of the silver mount microarchitecture and gold mount 40 nanometer atom microarchitecture thank you so much hope you understood a bit idea from the start to the end means we have reached the point where we are actually squeezing the nanometer technology and going to a higher powerful microprocessor from intel thank you so much